One of the best things about indie horror games is that they keep coming and coming, and there's always plenty of options for horror fans to choose from. In the last few videos on the channel, we talked about horror titles from different perspectives, including the ones with the saddest stories, true events, scariest environments, and even the most powerful jump scares. But today, we're going back on track, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new horror games that were released recently and probably didn't receive the attention they deserve, even though they provide a chilling experience that any horror fan would be thrilled to try. But to make things clear, I'm gonna avoid spoilers in this video, and I guarantee you that I'm not gonna ruin your own experience. I'm simply gonna give you a general look at each game with a brief description of its spooky story and eerie background. This world is sick, filled with scum and filth, twisted people who are only out there to harm, to cause pain, only to please themselves. People just like me. But I've got something I want to tell you. I want the world to finally open its eyes and react so we can finally save the innocent. And I'm going to do that in the one way I know best. Quite frankly, it is the only way, the purest way, through art. I need someone to help me out. Because this is not a one-man project. Please, why don't you join me and be part of the creation? This title is kind of unique. Partum Artifacts is an interactive horror-themed adventure game that puts the player in the role of a psychopathic murderer. The primary objective is to solve challenging puzzles while also exploring the depths of the killer's psyche who is desperate to showcase his grisly art and tell his bizarre story to the world. In general, Partum Artifacts is a horror title that concentrates on both the plot and the atmosphere. As the player, you must solve brain teasers that are connected to the deranged notions of a serial murderer. To move forward, you must place yourself in the killer's mindset and think like him to correctly decipher the puzzles. Unknowingly or not, he is desiring your assistance in completing his masterpiece. By exploring, reading, Jotting down notes, collecting items, and observing the environment, you can figure out what happened in that ominous house and what the serial killer is attempting to do with it. The more you delve into the criminal's mentality, the more you will uncover secrets that would be better not revealed. Disappointment. Calvin was a great kid. I almost gave up on my vision and my creations when I first saw his reaction to his world falling apart. I could see myself in his eyes.
in Unfollow, a first-person horror venture, the topic of social issues and the shadowy sway of social media is highlighted. At the start of the game, the lead character Anne wakes up to an empty, mute house and can't seem to recall what has happened. The only person she recognizes is Akadirist, a well-known YouTuber whose contents have aided Anne during her gloomiest moments. But now, Anne has to return the favor and come to Akadirist's aid. I have to get it, but I need something thin to reach it. I've tried, Anne. Really, I try to be your friend. But friendship doesn't work that way. In order to break free, Anne is obligated to examine the chambers in the building and confront the most difficult decisions of her history. Nonetheless, she isn't unaccompanied because she'll find out that an awful creature meanders around and tracks her every move. But the real question is, Will Anne be able to make her escape at the end? The answer will be determined by your own actions and experience. Hey! Huh? Hey! You! You're Aki Dearest! Hi. Um, I need your help to get out of here. What are you doing in there? I don't know. I can't remember anything. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that I need your help to get out of here. I don't know what to do. Break the TV or something! How? I don't care! Hurry up and do it! Thomas is the main character in Mirror Forge, embarking on a trans-dimensional quest to locate his missing wife. By traveling through mirrors, Thomas encounters a range of disturbing creatures, brain-teasing puzzles, and peculiar situations. Amidst this, he is subjected to perplexing visions and nightmarish dreams that provide glimpses of the solution. Your objective is to find out if he will make it out alive and discover the secret between dimensions. But trust me, it's easier said than done. Um, hello? Hi, what's your name? Leave me alone! Okay, okay. What's the matter? Why are you here all by yourself? I don't like the doctors. They're all around. Which doctors? There's nobody here. They don't see me. Nobody sees me. My mom was the only one that cared. I lost your photo, and I don't know how to be brave without it. Yeah? Would you feel better if I got that picture for you? You... You would? I'll get it for you. And in return, you'll tell me how to get out of this hellhole. Deal! I think I left it in room three. The game is situated in different types of places, ranging from small and dark apartments to bigger towns, old structures, and industrial facilities. These horror-filled worlds shift to represent your inner distress. You must investigate the world that is constantly shifting to figure out what is actually happening. You also need to be smart to explore the environment and solve puzzles. You'll have to rely on your fast reaction and ability to hide in order to stay alive. But be careful, there are many creatures that wander around you, 
and these entities are designed to symbolize your being. Listen, Thomas, I, I think... I think he's been lying to us. I, I know it sounds crazy, but ever since we first turned out that machine, Erldred has been obsessed with piercing the veil. And every time we do, it goes to shit. Don't you ever wonder what exactly he's seeing through those cracks? This game takes place in a house opposite the street, which was once occupied by an elderly single man. But now he is gone, and the residence is no longer illuminated. You take the part of a nine-year-old inquisitive boy named Armin, who had been speculating about what happened to their neighbor, and his curiosity was boosted even more when one of the nights he noticed a light in the house which appeared to be deserted. After entering the house and investigating its rooms, you'll find out a dark truth about the owner. It appears that he is a doll maker, but he doesn't make normal dolls like you think, because as you progress through the story, you'll realize that his dolls are more alive than you can ever imagine. But the most disturbing part is that the plot was actually inspired by true events and a real Russian man who shocked the world 12 years ago in 2011. I'm not going to spoil the game for you, but if you're interested in the real life story, then you can check my previous video and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Iblis 2 is a first-person psychological horror game that takes place in a Turkish village. The game puts an emphasis on discovering different areas of the environment and gradually increases the degree of tension to produce a more profound and rewarding experience. The narrative can be quite unsettling due to the use of multiple levels of sounds, including soft, loud, and abrupt noises. One of the main components that captured my interest in this game 
is the fact that it simply feels very realistic. I'm not necessarily talking about graphics or visuals, but the ambience literally feels very close to what a real haunted place should appear and sound like. Because when we think about haunted houses in real life, we don't usually think about monsters or ghosts showing up everywhere. But instead, we imagine a dark environment with mysterious sounds, old architecture, and inexplicable events taking place randomly and messing with our minds. And that's exactly where this game excels. According to the developer, this game is actually his first project, and without exaggeration, I'm sincerely very impressed because it actually looks stunning for someone who was starting his journey in developing indie games. The story takes place in a vast compound owned by a company called Black Door, who are using humans for biotechnical research, which is why people have started to vanish from within its walls. These vanishings are accompanied by otherworldly occurrences that the protagonist must unravel to make sense of how he ended up in this situation. The game has an intense atmosphere, a unique environment, and sounds that will contribute to giving you chills when you least anticipate it. Overall, it is definitely one of the titles worth checking out, and you can play the demo for free before buying it. But I personally wanted to spread some awareness about it, because the developer mentioned that he's working on another frightening horror game with a higher quality than this one, and it will be about a summer camp. So I'm definitely hooked because considering the fact that his first project is this good, I have a feeling that his upcoming ones will definitely capture our interest even more. File Destined is a spine-tingling psychological thriller game created with Unreal Engine 5. Players can get a kick out of an exciting narrative and realistic surroundings, while also trying to figure out the secret behind Oliver's story. 
As a detective, you are tasked with collecting evidence to uncover the truth. However, the reality will not be what you anticipated. To progress in the story, you must solve puzzles that are integrated into the plot. But to do that, you must first inspect different types of items to acquire hints. This looks like a slaughterhouse. As you attempt to identify the person responsible for one of the most closely followed murder cases in the nation, you may experience unanticipated risks when you least expect it. You need to investigate the scene of the crime thoroughly, as each thing you locate could lead you to the answers you seek. Throughout your mission, be sure to be wary of how much time you spend in the dark because darkness can harbor sinister entities from beyond this world. Carefully inspect the objects on the map to determine if they possess any significant details pertaining to the case. Meanwhile, you must strive to endure a vicious dark atmosphere while only having a lighter in your hand to provide illumination. The lighter has realistic mechanics, so be mindful when you use it, or else you will be cast into darkness. Besides all these elements, the visuals that were created with Unreal Engine 5 will make your experience even more unsettling. Where the fuck did that door go? There was a door right here. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to spoil any experiences for you. So I'm going to end the video here to make sure that you'll enjoy the games to the fullest. And I think that I gave you a clear glimpse about the atmosphere and capabilities of each title when it comes to providing spooky gameplay 
that can satisfy your horror appetite. And keep in mind that this list is just a fraction of what this year has in store for us, because 2023 is obviously a year to remember, and many other amazing horror projects are planned to be released. So there are definitely more than enough games to talk about in future videos. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.